welcome back on my YouTube channel. In this video we are going to explore the QGIS Hub. Through the QGIS Hub you can share styles, projects, models, 3D models and QGIS layer definition files. You can find the hub on plugins.qgis.org. But in this video we are going to see how to connect to these hubs using the QGIS Hub plugin. As you see many styles are shared through the QGIS Hub. And in this video we are going to use one of these styles and add it directly to QGIS using the QGIS Hub plugin. We are going to demonstrate that using these exponential coastline buffers developed by Klaus Carlsen. To connect to the QGIS Hub using QGIS, you need to install the QGIS Hub plugin. Go to the Plugins Manager and search for QGIS Hub. Click Install Plugin to install the plugin. Click Close to hide the dialog and you will see now an icon for the QGIS Hub. Click the icon. The first time the QGIS Hub Explorer will load a bit slow uh, to load all the uh, images here. But uh, once it's loaded you can start exploring it by looking at resource types like style, geo package or model. With the slider you can increase the size of the chip images. You can find geo packages with projects and models. Here we focus on styles. Let's use the search box to find the uh, exponential coastline uh, style from Klaus Carlsen that we saw on the website. That's the one. And now I can click on download to download the style or directly add it to QGIS. Now the style is added to my profile and I can use it in my QGIS projects in that profile. To demonstrate what we want to achieve with this style, I'm going to install another plugin. It's called Topo Tijdreis, which is a time travel plugin for the Netherlands to um, download historic maps of the Netherlands. If I click the button of the plugin, it will load all the old maps of the Netherlands. And here we can see the uh, coastlines as they uh, made that in the past. And this is exactly what we want to achieve with this uh, nice style. I've loaded a recent map uh, that doesn't have that styling. And uh, I've also loaded a polygon layer that we're going to use to create the style. This is uh, a recent layer with the boundaries of the islands. Now this uh, style that we've downloaded can only be applied to um, the inside of water bodies. I don't have that layer, so I'm going to apply it to an inverted polygon. With inverted polygons you can style everything outside of the polygon boundary. Under all symbols I can now find the exponential coastline buffers. And when I click it, it will load immediately and be applied. Now we can further improve this. Let's add an extra style layer. And um, we use a simple fill, but we create light blue for the sea outside of the island. And now we see our uh, coastlines nicely above. The lines are now um, by default gray. And let's make them uh, dark blue. That already looks nice. Let's look at other islands, and that works fine. And we can change the stroke width to get a more subtle effect. We can also go to the geometry generator that was used to create this style. And we can see here that we can adjust some uh, values to play with the intervals. If I change the second value from 4 to 8, you see that the lines will extend further. If I make it 2, it will stay close to the shore. If I change the last value, it will change the amount of uh, lines that it will draw. If I make it very small, I will get a lot of little lines. In the uh, original old map, we saw that the lines extended over the sea, so I'll make a bigger value of the second value. And the first value determines uh, where the lines start, so if I make it uh, bigger, you'll see that it starts far from the shore. So in this video you've learned how to use the QGIS Hub plugin to download styles. And uh, when you have a style, you can uh, further modify it to your needs. In the same way you can use the QGIS Hub to download models 
and change the graphical models according to your needs.